photo revealing the current situation among farmers in the north has proven to be very disturbing. This photo was shared by one of the NSAS activists, Sega Link, who described the situation as an act of shooting oneself in the leg. He said, Nobody understands the lessons behind waging a war against oneself and losing, like those who deployed a food supply ban against the South. The world has changed. Those who believe only in tyrannical, monopolistic ventures, we have a decentralized world to contend with. Hmm. He choked. Recall that some days ago, there was news that the amalgamated union of foodstuffs and cattle dealers of Nigeria, with Forum, not Forum, had altered the activities of food transportation from the north to the south. And since then, the south has experienced a sudden hike in essential perishable goods like tomatoes and onions, but the north is also losing out. While reacting to the picture, Segaling said, Nobody understands the lessons behind waging a war against oneself and losing like those who deployed a food supply ban against the south. The world has changed. Those who believe only in tyrannical monopolistic ventures. We have a decentralized world to contend with. He choke. Hashtag he choke. <laughs> we also spotted a picture where cows were feeding on wasted tomatoes. Can you imagine? This is real life. He choke. Uh, distinguished as tries to be relevant again. Loud. He choke. He choke die. Go to school. They say education is haram. Now, they are learning the basics of economics. Ichoko, this one choke, no be small. Yes, and it is also clearly shows very visible cracks in our ways of living as a people. Does it mean that in a state of instant, instant food emergency and shortage, the government has no alternative source? It's kind of disturbing to think about. Yes, and it's also clearly to show that, okay, that is a very visible crack in our system and society. This is a good point, and this should be a wake-up call and should not be left to slide once food is back in circulation. Everybody should just get that right. It really choke, oh, no be smart. Eh? This one choke, he choked them. He <laughs> uh, choked them, he choked them, he choked them. Currently, hmm, status, you can see how cows... Are feeding on those tomatoes. Cows they eat tomato safe. <clears throat> well, I won't be clamoring for separation for states, but I feel we should find a way where states can provide and govern themselves, then pay taxes to the government to pay the other things that is beyond the state. I don't even know. I know if I don't know if this is possible. I want to be educated. Of course, you know, just like I said. Because if we talk about a region again, of course the region is gonna those who are calling for restructuring, region regional system will be okay but at least to make it much much easier that is why we have those governors but what are those governors doing that is another thing that we need to ask like somebody is asking that if instead of talking about the regional or the restructuring at state level they can do a lot of things like i said or should government has come out to say with all the noise here and there, they are, they are not part of, they are not even, they don't even understand what people are talking about because talk about onions, tomatoes and all of those things that they have them in abundance because they have their own farms. So it's not going to affect them like that. But that does not mean that people should not because people are not asking. So are you not saying that they, they should just go to hell? The northerners should go to hell because you have your destiny. You say, no, no, no. One uh, the, the, the spokesperson uh, you know, speaking on behalf of the Oshun government says that, no, that is not what he's saying. But like everybody now say, oh, that is the time for us to go back to farm, to do this and that, so that uh, everybody will produce what they will be able to eat. That is talking from that angle and that is how they have been rolling. So it's not going to affect them. So let's everybody... Uh, 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 every state let them be able to do and provide what they will be able to eat not that uh, some people will not be feeling uh, 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 feeling big as if without them nothing is going to happen just like uh, Sega Link said that the world has moved beyond all of those uh, a cake way of doing things that it's going to you know they will have a um, the world has changed those who believe only in tyrannical monopolistic ventures will have a decentralized world so contend with the world is a global village you can see it's really really a, a global village so if you think that you are island of everything it go choke you it go choke you it go choke you where where no be small choking no please let them know 
They never know anything. Why have some of these northerners suddenly stopped boasting and saying that southerners have never seen anything yet and adding that the southerners will soon start to respect the Fulanis? I wonder who this food blockage is affecting most. The unfortunate thing there is that some people are saying that the Fulanis that are dominating them, telling them to do this, telling them to do that, they are not into farming. They are not into farming at all. They are into cattle rearing and their cattle is not a, a perishable uh, stuff. But those ones now, because some of them do not even want to join the strike, that is it. And they are the ones losing. And believe you me, let's say paraventure, which I am sure Nigerians will not even agree to that. Paraventure, the government now pays them. You now think those who are now staging war, who are now at the forefront, if the money is going to be paid, is it going to get to those farmers that have lost a lot of things? So had they been, they, they dragged it more than what it is. It's going to affect them the more. It's going to affect, they will lose the more. They will lose more. That is it. They will lose more. People will only be buying and there will be alternative. By the, so before you know it, people begin to look for alternative in the southern part of the country. They are not going to lose anything. They are, then they will not be forced, everybody will not be forced to go to the farm and they will let us see who is going to be uh, disturbing them because that is where the, the whole thing is going to be more tough. You to be tougher, but you that you are because the southerners are doing their own business, they are getting money in doing their own business. It might be expensive, but they will still see the money to buy whatever they still want to buy, whether it's expensive or not. But those who their livelihood depends on this uh, old thing, it's going to affect them the more. It's going to affect them the more. The my worry is that changing the narratives now, making it seem as if it is that it is now the southerners that are causing problem. That is exactly what they are doing, and that is exactly what they stand for so we just need to be very very careful everybody needs to be careful once you think that uh, you are above board that uh, you can't nobody can do without you will not see that uh, he go choke you he go choke you and you go they shock he go choke you for truths when you have too much wickedness in you you exceedingly enjoy yourself hmm abi now please let them know because they're always thinking thinking they let your mind be free Hey, I want to be, I want to be head. I want to be, I want to dominate other people. I want to be this. I want to be, I want to make other people. You are you the one that created them. Some people will not be saying if you don't, uh, if you don't follow their religion, it's going to be a, a problem. Who, is, who has the right to force anybody to anything? I don't understand. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a funny thing. So I think it's going to show them lessons. Some of them have been coming out and crying. No, we are not part of this. You know, since they began, began to hear the middle bed coming out to say, no, 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 we are going to send our, our goods to the south. We don't have time. After all, they are the ones who produce more of these things. So what are we talking about? So guys, leave your comment below and let's have your take on this.